ghost steering wheel. Really gotta fix that mirror. So if you have a new visor, uh, you have a new visor coming in. Actually, it's already here. Uh, this one's gonna go because I know I have to replace the windshield. It's cracked, and I didn't want to replace the windshield until I got a new uh, visor. So that's on the next to-do list. Here, uh, I got some free time to actually tear this wall, this thing up here, take it down, and then um, pull the visor off. And I'm gonna need a help again, probably by my cousin. But anyway, so today's Thursday. We're going on a short run to Salt Lake City. It's right now 12 p.m. Uh, deliveries for 5 a.m. tomorrow. Am I gonna make it? I don't know. Um, cutting it really close by the time I get loaded and drive, I'm gonna hit traffic, so we'll see. I didn't realize that. I didn't really record anything. I don't feel good again, of course. And um, it's just been a long day, so I'm up here in Donner Pass area. We're not that heavy, so I'm still doing about 65. Up these hills, so it's kind of nice uh, without any effort. So, we're about 20,000 pounds. So, I got about, man, I'm not even sure, like eight hours or so from here. We'll get there when we get there, slowly but surely. Just getting a little headache. That's the only thing that's uh, kicking my ass right now. But if I need a nap, we're gonna take a nap nonetheless. And uh, just drive. I might get a truck wash. I gotta get the weather for um, for I-80 and Utah and back. So I don't waste the money for no reason for 20 miles. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next update, which is probably going to be around fueling in Mill City. I just saw here in uh, Friendly, Nevada, there's a, we have a blue beacon here and there's uh, no light. There was one truck and he just went in, so I'm gonna take advantage, I'm gonna risk it, I'm gonna wash this thing. Uh, and not only that, but uh, I did hit snow on my last trip coming down from Oregon. Hit a lot of snow. I'll insert a clip right here. And uh, so if there's any salt, just wash all that crap off. We should be good to go. All right. Now it's our turn. Give me a sody water and uh, some Dayquil. I'm starting to feel like shit. So, if there's a Wendy's here. I might try to get some nuggets. I still have my taste, so can't be uh, COVID. But God knows. Sleep, sleep with their lights on. But uh, anyway, the bag is secured. So, I still have a little leak on the windshield here of water coming in but I sealed up everything up here got rid of all the leaks so it used to flood in here um, these sunroofs are really bad but um yeah so the only leak I have is above the windshield but like I said when you put the new visor in the new uh, the new rubber is gonna come around 
the windshield and everything should be good to go after that. Shouldn't have any more issues. Can't see anything, but it's all fogged up in here. do a pretty good job here I mean stays as clean as it can for as long as it can I guess always air out anyway let's do this walk around right so soap here on the reefer unit itself but uh overall it's fine i guess it'll dry up so let's uh let's get the show on the road i guess so it's gonna get dirty i'm not too worried about it so we might run into well not even run into just cross paths with uh trucking together alice and martin um, if you guys are not following their page, the YouTube channel, they actually upload damn near every day, which is crazy. I don't know how she does it. She drives, and then she's working on videos. I wouldn't be able to do that. But uh, anyway, yeah, so check out their page. Um, it's definitely worth the watch, just because, uh, you know, some people just have that character. I don't. I just fix stuff. So... All right, that should be good. And uh, free pass there. But yeah, you can see the fog inside. Actually, not inside, but from the outside, but because there's water on the inside, so um, everything's good. And let's get going. All right. Put it in gear and disappear. You know what I'm saying? Turn on all my lights that I need on. make me feel like it runs better <laughs> even though it doesn't change anything but it was, it was still a little cool and uh bring that shine back out a little bit plus tomorrow we'll see how i feel if i'm tired or not after i deliver but i want to polish off the fuel tanks a little bit and also do the uh do the light This intersection sucks because there's a tunnel and then it's at a bend. So when you're pulling out, granted there's nobody there, by the time you make that turn, somebody pops out from behind there. So I can't put you guys on my windshield because it's covered in rainwater. about my soda hoping it didn't spill but um, it didn't spill yet I do have a 5J receipt inside it though so let's get going y'all um, alright let's try this again 
we made it like, uh, oh man, 20 miles down the road. Uh, I'm only gonna get maybe 40 gallons here to get me to Mills, uh, not Mills City, to get me to Wells, Nevada. That's where I'm gonna end up topping off. And then uh, from there, we're gonna go straight to our delivery. So. fuel tank in. How's that? Yeah. It's kind of dead tonight. Look at that. The parking lot is just empty. So. Anyway, let's get some juice. Field. Um, so these dudes, McLean, the guy that uh, went inside. So there's two guys. Um, I think they're out of Sacramento too. But yeah, I guess he watches my channel. I appreciate you, bro. I wish I had more time to chat, man. And I wasn't so awkward, but I got to get going. I got a while to go and uh, no time to get there. But if you do watch and you are subscribed, bro, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. As always, it's uh it's a pleasure and a blessing to actually meet a lot of these people out here it's pretty crazy it like to get known man it's it's pretty crazy so let's get these miles down guys and we got 30 gallons of fuel a quarter should last us for a while look at that thing it's like a truck it's 280 wheelbase or so it's gorgeous but uh yeah, let me see if I can get a little thumbnail. So as we coast out of here, we're not a long night. I feel like I keep emphasizing on our long night, but so one time, guys, I almost rolled that truck right here. I was looking down and I almost went straight. I hit one of those markers when I was a company driver. So I ended up getting my energy drink and I was awake for like 30 hours or whatever and um, just freaking let oh, me get situated yeah so I was grabbing my energy drink because when I was making that turn it, uh, it rolled and fell over, you know, fell out or rolled, whatever. And I was reaching down as I was making the turn. And mentally, my brain, you know, was thinking, but my body wasn't doing. So, uh, as soon as I looked up, I saw that little uh, the snow, I guess they're called snow posts, these things. I jerked the wheel really hard. And uh, I knocked off my lug nut covers and one of the blinkers that's on the side of the the side of the uh, cab it, this was on like a 2006 Volvo or something like that uh, I ended up replacing everything never told the boss never told nobody and uh, we were good to go but 
<laughs> yeah, just it just goes to show how easy things can you know change. So, but that's what uh, sleep deprivation does. Anyway, let's get going, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can catch Alice and Martin. I think Martin's driving, so I'm gonna see if I can catch them on the on the other side of the mile post on the some mile post. Well, we've arrived. It is, well, I took a two hour nap, not even hours of change, but um, uh, right after I crossed the scale I went to Utah, there's a rest area, I pulled over, went to sleep, slept for like an hour of some change, and um, now it's about 4.45, you can check it an hour earlier before your appointment at Walmart. So, uh, my appointment's at 5.15, so we're here like, you know, 30 minutes or whatever before our appointment, so it's perfect. Um, we'll just drop our trailer, which is what I'm sure they're gonna make us do, drop the trailer and go park in a bobtail section. So, we'll see what happens here. Last collision, 10.23. Did it put the guy's name on blast too? Uh, no. Uh, safe from all achievements. Anyways, so after this guy, we're next, and then after that, we sleep. All right, see you guys over there. All right, we got door five three six. Ooh, legs don't work like they used to. So let's grab a seal cutter. Cut that seal. But I can rip it out by hand. I'll just cut it. I try not to. So this is our door back here to the right. Five three six. I did a terrible setup, but who cares? So the seal intact, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna cut it right here. There we go. So we are loaded to the max. I gotta make sure nothing crushes me. Oh, that's, there's a pallet that's tipped, of course. Um, it's light, so I don't see why it should be an issue, but I will tip it back over probably with my own self I do not want the headache of having to deal with stupid people today when you poorly load things of course they're gonna fall over so I push that pallet back over those bicycles they only weigh like I don't know, two pounds a piece so not a big deal but slide the tandems and hit that hole
Remember, you always want to leave a little bit of a gap if you can. States obviously that are like Australia, Europe, you know, we are really strict on safety and uh, how things work. So, um, pretty much what I'm doing is grabbing now. I have the seal in my pocket, it's right here that I cut. Um, it has to go up here in the office with that paperwork right there. So put it in the thing, in the envelope, park the truck where this guy's parking right up here. And uh, the office is right there in this building, this little box you see. And uh, pretty much it's gonna tell me to come back after they uh, either call my phone or there's a little number reading up here right on top, I'll show you guys which obviously maybe the bunk, so I'm not gonna see it, I can care less, but uh, yeah, so we'll just check in with them and then we'll go from there. Well, we're here, I didn't really update, I just been feeling like crap, but uh, we're in uh, Alice's favorite place, Thule, Thule, whatever. Um, gonna catch up on my logbook, and then um, <laughs> maybe I'm gonna comb my beard. Feeling like crap, looking like crap. <clears throat> um, I got loaded at 12, now it's 5 p.m. I drove here, it took me about an hour to get here for my pickup. <clears throat> and then, um, honestly, I just went to sleep. So, now I'm waking up and getting going. I have all the time in the world. I have till Monday to drive 600 miles. Which, um, <clears throat> which I'll be home by, you know, sometimes late tonight. And then, depending on how I feel, of course. And then we'll go from there. Um, just gonna go home and rest, deliver Monday. This is a reefer load, but the reefer's on start and stop, so it, you know it's pretty cold outside. So I'm not worried about the reefer turning on and off. It'll probably turn on ten times today or whatever. So especially tonight when it gets at least thirty degrees outside. But yeah, I'm gonna do this logbook, guys, and uh, let's get rolling. Was back to the yard. I pulled over and slept. And uh, woke up at the Great Trick area. <clears throat> and I figured I'd just go all the way to the yard. So I don't deliver until Monday night. Today's Saturday. Well, it's been like uh, two days. <laughs> Still got a cough, but I feel better. So um, I'm in Stockton, California now. I got another like 30 miles to Tracy, and uh, we're going to Safeway Distribution Center. So hopefully they're fast. Our appointments for 8 p.m. right now. It's I don't know, almost seven, I guess. So. Um, 
be there by like 7.30, so hopefully they're not gonna make a big deal out of 30 minutes. And the roads suck. But uh, I think we'll be all right. So let's see what happens down the road. All right, so we got door 164. Since I got here, um, it was all clear skies and now everything's foggy. I've been here for two hours. So ready ten, uh, right after 10 o'clock, okay, my appointment was at eight. Um, I don't mind the wait, whatever, but I just have no idea where I'm going. So let's see if we can find our door, 164. So they say. So, oh, 300s. Jeez, look at these guys' lights. Too much. All right. So it's right next to this guy. And uh, the guy that's parked next to me, that company actually is right next door to ours, uh, where I park my truck. So it's kind of cool, I guess. All right, so. If I'm supposed to get the seal or not, I don't know. They never said anything, but I assume I am. So let's knock this out. Like so. So now, we're just sitting and wait. I was stressing how the dock was going to be because I thought I was going to park back there where it's pretty tight. But, uh, this actually worked out good for me because there's all the room in the world here so i was going to record but there's uh there's a bunch of traffic around here i didn't want to waste the time being in the way so i just hopped in and did it really quick but anyway catch up with you guys and we're empty so see this is the problem i have like i had nothing to record with but so the light is still red right I had this issue last time and I made it on the video as well. They call me, they tell me to come get the paperwork. I tell them the light is red and oh, you're fine. You're fine. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Like this guy, he got his green light. So I paid my lumper. I actually, they they called me and told me to come uh, come up and then they hung up. But their, their phone number is, uh, their phone number is uh, no caller ID. So I was able to get a hold of them to the security office. And I told her my door, and she still said, okay, don't worry about it. You can pull out. So we'll see what happens now when I do pull out, if, you know, God knows. So that's the thing. You get a red light, but still, it's just, you know, like that guy that was back there should have just done his job, right? You turn the light green when you're done unloading, and that way there's no headache for anybody. So now I'm not even sure if my load locks are back there. And I got to pull out on a red light. So um, I don't think this one has a hook. I'm about to get out and go check. Because I'm not trying to rip my bumper off. But um, yeah, it's just, you know, it, it, it's such a stupid little thing. We're out of there. We're rolling. I think. Oh, boy. My turn is. I just passed my turn. That's great. Well, there's that. Missed my turn because I couldn't see it. But uh, now we're going to go up here and make a U-turn. Come back, hit the freeway. And we'll go from there. So, if you guys made it this far, thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate you guys. I know this is a little bit of a longer vlog. But I can only crop it so much, you know. So, I appreciate you guys for watching as always. If you're still around and you want to leave a request for what I should make next or do next on the video, let me know. But um, for now, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.